One of Joshua's biggest challenges is something we take for granted. They lock them all. A basic human need. It's so hard to go find a restroom. Since the pandemic began, public restroom access has been restricted for the homeless. That means resorting to desperate measures and quite possibly getting a citation for it. Lots of public urination. See defecation occasionally, but a lot of uh, public urination. In an exclusive interview with Two News, Judge John Baxter told us public urination is one of the top five offenses he sees in homeless court. Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall admits this is a problem. But absolutely, access to restrooms is a fundamental daily human need for everyone. And with the COVID pandemic closing so many of our public buildings from libraries, even to um, some other stores, not necessarily allowing people in to use their restrooms, the demand has risen dramatically. A two news investigation found legally no one has to provide a public restroom. But if there's an issue with people going to the restroom on or in a property, it's up to property owners to clean it up. Here in Salt Lake, that's typically the city or the state. The Salt Lake County Health Department told us bio waste is one of several triggers that will kickstart an abatement like this. There's no culinary water. There's, just, there's no human waste uh, disposal. There's a lot of refuge. Um, there's a lot of disease. Brown says when police come in to close a camp like this one, they do it through the power and authority of the health department. Two News found that in the past three months alone, abatements have cost Salt Lake PD more than $100,000 in overtime. The city says they've spent $80,000 to assist with abatements and debris cleanup since July 1st. So how big of a health uh, issue do you think that is, though? because some of the ticketing on the, the public urination, we're seeing sidewalks with, with feces and, and urine, people urinating, um, you know, that's an issue, correct? Oh, it's absolutely an issue when people are forced to use public spaces as restrooms. And that's why we work very closely with the Salt Lake County Health Department. Currently, there's 33 porta potties almost exclusively in parks. However, all but five locations are closed at night. The community commitment program will work with communities who want to locate a restroom and absolutely working from a database place, looking at where those calls for service are. And we have and will deploy them where necessary. The community commitment program launched this fall identified in count hotspots for trash and bio waste removal focused on neighborhood cleanups and outreach to the unsheltered restrooms are not one of the resources the program deploys leaving people like Joshua vulnerable to ticketing every time he has a basic human need everybody is treating me the same way like I'm worthless and like I shouldn't be a part of society or you know like I couldn't find a place to use the restroom or get a drink of water or anything like that. Um, I don't know. It's really, really difficult.